Greetings, it's Batavia Mayor Jeff Schelke speaking to you on Friday, June 10th, 2022. And uh, it's a very active time around Batavia these days. Uh, this coming week we're going to have some specifically special activities. And on uh, Tuesday, June 14th is going to be American Flag Day. And as many of you probably have heard over the years, uh, Batavia had a resident, Dr. Bernard Sagrand, in the early part of the last century, who was part of a group of American citizens who actively promoted the idea that June 14th of each year, which was the date in 1777 that the Congress, I guess, adopted the design of the American flag, that that should be proclaimed American Flag Day. And it wasn't till the start of World War I when uh, President Woodrow Wilson, I think looking to uh, promote patriotism in the minds of Americans, uh, pushed forth and proclaimed June 14th as American Flag Day and encouraged uh, residents of the country to do everything they could to promote the virtues of the American flag. Uh, a few years later, Congress officially enacted it as the date and it's been held ever since. But because uh, Dr. Bert Sir Grand had uh, special relationships because he lived here in Batavia and his family was here, his kids went to school in Batavia. We uh, have had a very special moment to think about it and the community under the leadership of Austin Dempsey uh, came up with the idea that we would go out and start raising money and would have a flag memorial built and uh, so we are about to do that. Uh, we're going to break ground uh, next Tuesday night starting at 6 o'clock to uh, 7.30, the Batavia Community Band under John Heath will be doing a concert of patriotic music and we invite all Batavians to come down and see it. And following uh, the concert, or during it I guess, so we're going to have a very brief ceremony in which we will physically will have the groundbreaking for the, and the site of the monument is going to be right to the east of the Peg Bond Center on a on a spread of grass there that's in between the windmill displays and the children's playground equipment there at the Peg Bond Center. There's a green area, it's not very big, but it's going to be big enough for this uh, monument to be erected. And I think it's going to be a very mo monumental and memorable moment in Batavia and one that uh, people will still be talking about a hundred years from now because hopefully that monument will be there and people will come from quite a distance over the coming years to see it. So that's going to be again this Tuesday starting at about 6 and going to around 7.30 and uh, the community band will be playing and there will be a lot of patriotic music and a few speeches of, of history and we've got some interesting anecdotes of Batavia history that aren't well known that we're going to unveil at that time or talk about that I think will really heighten the appreciation of why Flag Day is such an important day for Batavia to consider. So we've got that as a, a forerunner in the community. The other thing that we've got is is that we are still raising money for the uh, 4th of July fireworks program which will be returning to all its grandeur out at uh, West Main Street there at the Engstrom Park right across the street from Batavia High School and I'm sure we'll have thousands of cars parked on the Randall Road parking lots in Batavia on that night watching the fireworks display because it's all done in the air uh, over the Mooseheart property and we'll probably have a num number of people in Engstrom Park and at the high school football area and whatever so it should be hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll have a good night it'll be the probably should be the 72nd time this we fired this show because we've done it every year since uh, 1950 with the exception of now two years ago when we didn't fire it because of the COVID issues uh, we did do it last year and now we're returning it so if the last 72 years we've had 71 shows so this will be, uh, you know, the one show we'll add this year, we'll continue to add to it. The nice part about the story of that is, is that beyond its appreciation of patriotism and the American ideal, it also is, shows the depth of passion and love for country that people have because for the last uh, 71 years as we've tried to raise money to pay for the fireworks, every year the fireworks show the money was always raised and we've never used taxpayer dollars to buy fireworks to fire in Batavia and I think we're well on the way this year to doing it but we would continue to ask people we've got a 
a sign that will sell you that will say uh, 2022 Batavia Fireworks Sponsor and you can put that in your yard or you can just send us a donation. We sell the banner, the signs down at Utility Billing or you can go on the computer and you can uh, look around and see that and then you can read about it and then there's on the, at the website, and I've lost it here, uh, there's a, a, a space where there's three red lines and if you click on those three red lines it will give you the ability to order the sign and it will be uh, you know, give you the ability to pay for it and then it'll also have delivery information so one of our volunteers will run around and put the sign in your yard for you. So we've got a lot of stuff like that going on and we're very excited that we do have such a strong interest in the American ideals and the American birthday and the flag and everything else. We're very patriotic around here and I'm very proud of it. And uh, the other thing I'd like to just mention is is that starting June 13th through the 17th from 9 in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon you can come to the Batavia Government Center at 100 uh, North Island Avenue and in the council chambers we're going to have a, a, a temporary voting location where you can vote for the, the candidates that you want in the party in uh, the June 28th primary. And then the next week on June 20th to 23rd, the same time, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., you'll be able to come to the city uh, council chambers and vote. Or if you'd like to do a mobile vote, vote mobile out at the Jewel Osco store on Randall Road, uh, that's going to be on June 13th and 14th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And so those are the times that Batavia people have special places to vote. And then certainly on the 28th, uh, you can return to your regularly known voting place and you should find the ability to vote there. So there is going to be uh, a lot of opportunities to vote in the elections in the days ahead. Uh, I've had some people tell me that they think a lot of Batavia people are going to look at the ballot this year and at first think this isn't my ballot because... Uh, many of the candidates you see are candidates that you've never seen or voted on before. Some have, some haven't. But because uh, we just had the, the uh, census change, uh, Illinois had to cut a congressional district because our population as a state fell a little bit. Uh, they've readjusted a lot of the boundaries for both the congressmen and the state senators and the state representatives. And in all those cases involving Batavia, there are new representatives and new candidates about to appear. Uh, they're going to be on the ballot and uh, some of the old folks or old candidates that we vote, voted for are no longer representing the Batavia area. They were changed in the most recent uh, drawing, redrawing of the maps and so we're, we're going to have a situation where there won't be the ability of a lot of people that you'll recognize I think. And so the league expressed to me the concern that we get the word out that, yeah, the ballot you're voting on is your ballot, but you won't see a lot of the candidates that uh, you want. Uh, we've got a lot of construction happening on town out at Randall and McKee Street. We've got a couple of restaurants and a Bell Tire store that's now starting to be built there north or south of the Raising Cane restaurant. And then a little bit further west on McKee Street, uh, we've got the uh, Pulte Homes folks building in starting the construction of the site for which will house eventually a 163 unit single family home subdivision and they've got uh, signs on the site that say the site will be built of either ranch homes or two-story homes uh, but they'll all be single family so if you've got somebody that thinking they want to move to Batavia but they'd like to design their own home uh, as long as they follow the constraints that Pulte's put out about either being a ranch or a two-story, I'm sure they'd be happy to talk to you out there because uh, that's the newest subdivision in town. And uh, I've already had some people in here asking questions about it. And so uh, I'm sure there'll be some people moving in. Uh, you just can't go out there and buy a house. You can go out and buy a house, but you have to approve the plans and then they build it for you. So that's the way that works out there. So we do have a lot of action happening in Batavia. I've had people out on the Wilkett Drive and Trent uh, contact me about the, how early the construction starts out there in the subdivision that's under construction, but there's a lot of earth dirt to be moved and a lot of uh, 
situations where they're trying to kind of get everything within the lot lines and the streets and all the utility work and the water and the sewer and the electric and everything. So there's a lot of moving parts out there as there is in any new construction site. So just bear with us and don't let the noise too bother you too much because it's a short-lived situation and they won't be there all that much longer as far as getting the site prepared for construction. So that's going to be it for the day. I again would like to uh, encourage everybody to watch over your health. Uh, we do still have strains of COVID in town. Uh, some people tell me that you get COVID and then if you test, it should, still shows you have it, but uh, sometimes you're kind of, it stays with you to the very end in some instances. And although you're feeling good, but just take it easy and don't overdo yourself. And uh, Batavia is very, very fortunate to have the medical world that we do have surrounding us because I think we've fought this fight with the COVID very well. And uh, we are trying to keep it as much in control in town as we possibly can. So again, I express my encouragement to all those who have been fighting for 10 days, two weeks with COVID and thought they were over it but weren't, but now they now understand how it kind of treats different people in different ways. And so just bear with it and keep your doctor informed and watch over yourself because we don't want to lose anybody further from this. And best wishes for a nice week ahead and look forward to seeing a whole bunch of you at some of the coming events. Uh, next uh, Tuesday the 14th at the groundbreaking for the Flag Day Monument and then certainly a whole bunch of the most of the town on the 4th at the 4th of July fireworks because that's that is probably the biggest event in the entire year where as many Batavians as possible come together and share the life of the community together so best wishes and talk to you next week thanks